it is hot but diva's feeling good just wanted to come on and do a video see how you're doing how you doing what's happening in your world i'm feeling good just a little tired but other than that feeling good yeah so just wanted to come on and say hello see how things are going with you during this quarantine i'm sitting outside at my apartments it's nice out here most of the people that are working from home are in their houses right now so i thought i'd take advantage of it being nice and quiet it's in the shade even though it's still sweltering yeah just you know catch you up to speed a lot of people always wonder they're like you know what diva what are you doing how do you stay so positive? What do you have going on? And I just tell them, you know, this is who I am. And a lot of people think because I don't work full time anymore that I have nothing to do. I have so much stuff going on and it's good. I keep myself busy. I try to keep myself active to where I'm producing, doing things, networking to keep my story out there. So everybody stays aware of what I'm going through with the stage four lung cancer as a non-smoker. We got things popping off in the background here because things are falling from our trees. We got these little crispy things that are in our trees and they dry out and they fall to the ground and when you step on them they're really crunchy. Got my neighbor over here <laughs> heading back upstairs to his apartment. So it's nice, you know, it's sort of a mellow, low-key atmosphere, which is good. They're talking about things opening up soon. Not sure if I'm ready for all that. Yes, I'm not gonna lie, I miss shopping. I wanna go shopping, I wanna go through the stores, touch the clothes, smell things, you know, like perfumes and all that, look at makeup. But for the most part, I just hope that overall we're gonna be safe before we head on out there to these stores and before they reopen up everything. But yeah, during this whole quarantine, I've been really busy. I've been trying to keep myself productive and doing things and creative. I mean, I write a blog. I love my blog because my blog helps me during this healing process. It helps me express what I'm feeling, my frustrations, my joys, my epiphanies, my excitement, my aha moments, those things when I'm like, wow, I actually learned something new today or I met someone incredible and it kind of shifted the way I was thinking. It's good. So, you know, writing my blog is part of my therapy, getting out and going hiking, which I probably won't be doing too much now that we're going into summer and it's starting to heat up. But I mean, you know, evening walks, occasionally riding my bike. Also, I'm online a lot. I network with a lot of different people to stay on top of things because like I said, I want to keep my story out there because my whole goal going forward is to help make change for non-smokers who get lung cancer. Not sure exactly how I'm going to go about doing it and how the impact is going to be, but I know it's going to make a difference. So I'm not sure if I'm going to be a spokesperson, I'm going to get an endorsement, I'm going to be in a national commercial, I'm going to be working with an organization, my mind is swimming, I have all these ideas, but those are things that I'm working towards. So I'm always busy doing different things, trying to keep myself abreast, learn new things. Also too, you probably have seen some of the videos I've been doing. I've been doing videos. I created this whole series of PSA style videos to give people information about lung cancer, things they might not know. Because a lot of people out there still don't know that you can get lung cancer as a non-smoker. A lot of people don't know that November is National Lung Cancer Awareness Month. A lot of people don't know that the color for lung cancer is turquoise. Those are small little things, but on a larger scale, there's so much more to learn and know, and there's resources out there, and I try to be the person, because I'm going through this, to shed a little light on it. Do I have a long way to go? Absolutely. Personally, within my health, because my cancer is still in the bones of my spine and my pelvis. So I'm always going to be on some form of medication. This is my new normal. But I embrace it, and then I make it the best I can. And personally, I just try to live my life like I don't have this stupid cancer. That's why you see me putting on my good wigs, doing my makeup. I just try to feel good and look good and just not look sick. Because I may be sick internally, but... Physically, mentally, and emotionally, I'm trying to push forward so I can be the best version of myself in this new normal life that I have with this card that I've been dealt as a non-smoker with lung cancer and make the best of it. So yeah, I mean, I have a lot of things going on. I've been keeping myself busy during the quarantine. You see me, I'll be posting my selfies. Diva got to keep you up to speed on, you know, the wigs and the looks because sometimes I'm telling you, I will sit in my house with makeup and a wig on because there'll be weeks that have gone by and I look like a hot mess and I get tired of the way I look. It ain't cute. 
It is not cute. I look like Kizzy from Roots, child. And that's not a good look. That is not a good look. I'm telling you because I had cut my hair down because um, I had um, started getting damaged with my hair. It started breaking off and got really brittle. And it was like, unfortunately, I couldn't braid it anymore. There were like patches. It was ugly. It was not cute. So I had it cut down really short. And with it being cut down, now it's starting to grow back natural. And let me tell you, the African-American hair is a struggle, honey. The struggle is real. But it's good because I have nice thick texture of hair. It's coarse. It has a nice little natural curl to it. So when I put my oils and gels on it and when I wash it, it snaps right back. It snaps right back. But yeah, it's a lot though to deal with. So sometimes I get tired of the way I look. <laughs> So I just put on my wigs because you know Diva loves a good wig. Oh my gosh, I love my wigs. And then I put on a necklace, you know, a cute little dress or a nice shirt. Take my selfies, make myself feel good. But I'm pushing forward, just doing what I can. But the best thing about this is, is that my life has transitioned into something I never thought it would. I mean, yes, you hear people say you're an inspiration, you inspire me. But there have been individuals who don't even know me, who have been told to follow me on social media because of the way I'm handling my cancer journey. And I have been able to help them once they've become diagnosed to see that, you know, you can have some normalcy. You can get through this. And it's been so incredible because it helps me heal. It helps me feel good. And ultimately, I hope whatever I'm sharing with them helps make them feel good so they can embrace this cancer journey. I say make the most of it. You were trying to bring sexy back, honey. Trying to bring sexy back and get a man at the same time. Mm -mm 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 -mm. It's all good. You got to do what you got to do. But yeah, I love it. I'm just loving life. I'm loving who I am. I'm loving where I am. Despite the fact that, you know, I'm uncomfortable. I'm sore. I take this nasty, toxic uh, medicine to help keep me going and to stay alive. But it's working. Diva's still here. Now if I could just get a man, that would be good. They say if you put it out there in the universe, it shall come. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? <laughs> so it's good. But yeah, so like I said, just pushing forward, taking my time, doing things, staying positive, and trying to make a difference. So I'm going to get out of here because Diva is melting like butter on toast. <laughs> you make it a great day and I'll catch up with you soon. <laughs>